Oh, Genichiro Ashina. I had already gotten one of his, uh, one of his health, ooh, health buttons down. Health, health button. Yeah, one of his health buttons. That's what I call. I don't know what to call. It. I think one of his health marks, whatever. But uh, yeah, that move right there is always a, uh, always a fun one. Yeah, he's he's got a he's got a flurry of his own. Yeah, right here. I I, th I thought it was, I thought I was done. I thought it was beautiful. Ooh. Lucky me. Oh yeah, lightning res lightning reversal. I think it was a scroll. Ouch. Could have had him right there, but I didn't. I didn't do with it. See, right there, I was really proud of that little flurry because I thought he was gonna, thought he was gonna out, thought he was gonna hurt me pretty bad. It's a wonder that one right there that I did not, uh, I did not take any damage. It's really strange. Yeah. Get some. Ooh. Ooh, some of you could probably attest to that. And you can see I don't have any more. Uh, um, Healing board, healing boards to drink from. <laughs> so, uh, I, had, I mean, I don't want to brag, but I had to rely on whatever skill I had right there, because uh, that could have been the end of me. And as stated, like I said, I'm not very good at these Souls games, but I did it. Ah, now here's the Guardian Ape fight. Yes, so oh. Now this one was a bit tougher than the last one. Um, at least I think it was. And that is for several reasons, and you are going to find out why. Yeah, the Guardian Ape was no joke. Definitely no joke. Not a fan, not a fan. He, uh, he hops around a lot. A little more than I would like. Definitely. Definitely on edge, this whole fight. You know, and he throw he literally throws shit at you and that's that's pretty disgusting. Ooh, that is that is one of the worst moves that he does. I mean best good for him, bad for me. Oh boy. Where he just leaps into the air and grabs at you. Then he just throws you around like a rag doll. Yep, that one! Oh no. That does some pretty pretty hardcore damage to oh shit yeah you see just because he's big just because he's huge just because he's a big ape he thinks it's okay to just grab people and throw them around like toys well sir we have what's called manners and you have none that is not very nice not very nice at all he like <laughs> i really love it when he like Pounds his hands on the ground like he's throwing a tantrum. Like that one, too. <laughs> it's like a kid in a toy store that uh, is leaving without one. Because, you know, you started acting up and your parents are like, Well, you're not getting shit now. And then you're just sitting there throwing a tantrum. Ew. Yep, clear sign that he was going to throw shit is when he farts. Then he holds his butt like it hurt. Well, it probably did. You see the size of that turd he threw? Bitch. Way to go, banana heels. Yes! Such a great gaff at this point, yeah. But as you well know, well, as you're about to find out, I had figured out that this was not the end, obviously. Of course not, just like Lord Genichiru Ashina, this son of a bitch has a second phase. And he's quite creepy, and so is the music. Now he has the sword that took his com head completely off and using it as a weapon. And I have no more resurrects, which sucks. For some reason, it reminds me a lot of Bloodborne. This is like a this w this would be like a Bloodborne enemy almost. I don't know. It's just there's specific enemies in each of these FromSoft games that sure give off the, their own feeling, but for some reason, oh shit. Yeah, it's just the fact that this is kind of spooky because he's like holding his severed head and literally making it follow you around. Like every direction you go, that's when he that's where he turns his head and that's where he knows you. That's where you're at. God, I love Bloodborne so much. Who doesn't? That's my favorite FromSoft game. 
Maybe I'll do a playthrough of it on the channel. Like a full playthrough. I'd, at this point, I'm too far into Sekiro to make a full playthrough of the game. Um, and I, as much as I really enjoy Sekiro, I don't like it as much as Bloodborne. I, not the biggest fan of Dark Souls 1, personally. I know that's kind of blasphemy to people who love the series altogether. It's just... I really enjoy Bloodborne the most out of them. And that's just a personal preference, I think. It's because of, you know, the old Victorian era kind of thing, gothic feel. That's why I like games like Castlevania and um, uh, Bloodstained. It's got more of a, like, I don't know. It, it's got that kind of feel to it. You know what I mean? I like Blood. I like Dark Souls. I just don't love it. I love Bloodborne. But I really enjoyed Sekiro. Oh boy, I got one pellet left. Uh these games they really grew on me i used to really hate these kind of games for obvious reasons they are very hard um for some reason they just really grew on me after a while i'm like why do these people play these games so much i mean they're very frustrating they're very hard but over time after playing them myself i understand why it's not just it's not about like trying to beat the game, trying to beat the bosses so much as, as it just as as it is like an experience all its own. It's the experience itself. It's not trying to get from point A to point B. Sometimes it's all about exploration and finding it yourself. People who are veterans of these games are like, ah, oh, you know, you need to be invested in the world. You need to be invested in the story, the characters. Some of these characters, some of the enemies in these games have like unique backstories, why they are the way they are. All that stuff, you know? So, oh my god. I have one more healing gourd, and this guy's only at half health. Boy, this is a rough one. So, we are pretty much even. Almost in health right now. We are even. And I got no more resurrects. I got no more uh, gourds. And I think I used the last of my little pellets, too. So, But again, like I said, it's not, it's not, it's not about just, you know, rushing your way through a game. Fun fact, I haven't beat one from software game yet. I came pretty close, according to one of my friends. I came pretty close to beating um, Bloodborne, but I had to restart that entire game over because my I had to make a brand new account um, on my PlayStation. But that's okay. I was angry at first, but after a while I realized, well, I really love Bloodborne. I'll play that game again. I don't care. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this little tangent I'm having while this is all going on. Um, I just cannot believe that I am still alive. I am out of everything. I am out of uh, gourd seeds. I am out of pellets. I am out of resurrects. I've almost got this motherfucker. But usually when I start uh, feeling good right about now is when I start getting cocky. And I believe I was getting that way playing this game. As you can see, I'm just running around the arena constantly, trying to stay away from him, trying to get the best advantage. At this point, I was starting to really get his pattern down and saying, okay, he's going to be doing this and this, and this is the best time for me to do that. When he leaps like that, because it gives me about a two-second window to start really nailing him. There isn't a high enough window, though, for everything else. At least I didn't think so. I'm not skilled enough for this crap. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad right there. At least I don't think. Well, that right there kind of keeps you from, you know, continuing your on continuing your onslaught. It's especially hard when I want to throw oil at him and then hit him with the flame vent. Now that I'm out of flame, now that I'm out of a uh, uh, the stuff you use for your prosthetic tool. What is that stuff called? Uh, just the materials required to use it every time. Oh, uh, spirit emblems or whatever. Yeah, spirit emblems. We are actually almost neck and neck with this whole fight because I've got about one more hit of me before I'm dead. No more resurrects. He's got about maybe two hits for me. Ooh, boy, that, that would have took me out. Leap like a freak. And then throwing a back snapping eel strike. Or shout at me like my ex woman. Got you, you son of a bitch. And now for the true trick. No more parlor tricks. No more parlor tricks, ape. Or. Or. Peed. Ape or peed? Is it an ape? Peed or a scent ape?
Who knows? But hey, we did it. 